something that's happening downtown right now is we try to take these old buildings and restore them. You're in a historic district. Uh, when the cotton company originally was put up, instead of just putting the cotton company as a historic building, we actually had enough buildings here that would qualify that we put the entire downtown district. So it's about a two or three block area, so this re it's on the National Historic Registry. But what I'd like to show you is one very beautiful job of restoration in an old building that ha occurred in about the last year. Let's go upstairs and see what they've got. As we go up the steps, all of this has been a beautiful restoration. Look at the molding. One of the things that the owner, Dino Rodasto, and his wife, Tina, were accomplishing is they wanted to go ahead and turn this back, turn time back to what it used to be like. They did an absolutely excellent job. We've maintained the bricks. This first office up here is actually a law lawyer's office. And you see how he's used the frosted glass, the doors, if you get a chance, look up at the ceiling, where they restored the ceiling, the natural wood. It's very open. And one of the neat things, years ago they would have like Eatman Law Firm. They would put on the frosted glass the name. And this is one that where the restoration occurred. And you can't actually see it, but I can tell you from standing here, the floors are not exactly even, but that's part of the antiquity and that's part of the nice stuff about trying to restore a building. Will it come out perfect? Absolutely not. You don't want it that way. You want it to reflect back the history of the building. And these are the nice little things that you, are, you benefit when you try to do a historic preservation or renovation. Okay, now let's go back to the building that started the historic preservation down here. Let's go see the Cotton Company, and while we're there, we'll stop up and see Over the Falls Deli, which is a great place to go. Come on, let's go down the street.